Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about how to easily recover files in Windows 11. I know we've talked about this subject in other videos as well, but in this video, I'm going to showcase maybe the easiest software to use. It's also a software that you can use for free. You have a one gigabyte data limit that you can recover using the software. And of course, if you want to recover a lot more files, bigger files, you can always go for their pro versions. But in this video, we are talking about Minitool Power Data Recovery. We have here the free edition so we're just covering the edition that everyone can get and test out for free if you want to check them out of course you're going to have more information in the description below but this is the first thing that you see when you install the software one of the first things that i have to say is that if you have certain files that you've lost or accidentally deleted it is not recommended to install the data recovery software on the same hard drive ssd or partition where you lost your files and why is that well of course this is part of how data storage units work basically whenever you are deleting something from your hard drive or SSD, those files are not really deleted. They are still stored in the memory and they are permanently deleted once that space in the storage is replaced with another file. So if you deleted something, let's say recently, you still have chances of recovering that file if that space in the storage was not overridden with another data, of course. And that is why it is not recommended to install the software on the same hard drive. But of course, if you don't have other options, you can do that as well. Now, as you can see in the first page, we have the option to select a location to start recovering. So we're seeing all our logical drives and our devices. The devices section, of course, will include all our hard drive or SSDs. In this case, of course, I have an SSD, which has around 500 gigabytes. And of course, I have about 10 logical drives because this is the laptop that I use to test out all the beta versions of Windows 11. You also have the option to recover from a specific location, for example, desktop, recycle bin, or you can manually select a folder. Also, you have the load recovery result, which basically means that if you did a scan before, you can save it and load it again in the future if you want, of course, to do that. You also have the scan settings, the last option here, which will basically allow you to firstly show search results during scan, scan following file systems, so basically you can sort the formats that you want, and also extra search for known file types. So for example, we can only search for pictures and other things as well. And in this case, as you can see, when we select picture, we have different formats. So if you lost maybe a JPEG file, you can only select the JPEG format. Or if we're talking about audio and video, of course, you can select the formats that you are interested in. For example, videos are most likely MP4 and audios, of course, could be Windows Media Audio if it was created using a Windows app. Now with picture selected, let's click on OK and then go to select a location to start recovering. I'm just going to select my C partition and then click on scan. So let's start the scan. When you start the scan, you're going to notice that, of course, the software will do some calculation to see how much it should take to finish the scan. And of course, and you'll start to see files coming in here with the path and also you can sort them by type. So we have deleted files, lost files, existing files, and they are sorted pretty easily here. But if you want to search by type, of course, you can go and select type. As you can see, we are still getting audio files, documents and so on. But the scan will now focus mainly on images and will try to help us recover all the images that we can. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to stop the scan here or pause it. We can see that in this time, the software found about 600k files and pay attention. These are not necessarily files that have been deleted. We have here about 46k files that were deleted, about 300k that were lost. And the remaining time for this scan would have taken about two minutes, but I'm just going to stop the scan here and then click on yes. Now it's going to load our files and we will be able to recover certain files that we've lost in this case. So for example, I'm just going to go to type and then select a picture and let's see what pictures have we recovered in this. And here you can see by formats the files that we've recovered. I'm just going to recover the file type that we have a lot less files of. For example, EMF. Let's just recover the EMF files because of course, pay attention on the free version, we are still in that one gigabyte limit. But let's see, for example, if we were to recover about 300 BMP files, that would be about eight megabytes. So we can simply do that as well. So let's click on save and I'm just going to select the desktop and then click on OK. Of course, it is not recommended to recover files on the same location where you are scanning for files for the same reason that I've discussed at the beginning of the video. So now let's see here, we have a few files that we've recovered. As you can see, there are exactly 300 files. And of course, within these files, you can find certain data that you've lost. And of course, if you want, you can always search by name if you remember the name of the file and so on. Also, you can export the scan result. You have also a preview and also you have a filter that you can use. You can filter 
filter by file type, date modified, file size, and file category. So I think you have all the help needed in order to have the biggest chance of recovering your lost or deleted files in Windows 11 using mini tool power data recovery. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Also, don't forget to check out mini tool power data recovery from the description below. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.